Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, wherever this video finds you. Happy freaking Friday! So last night I was stupid. I decided, oh, my throat hurts and coughing. It's probably allergies. But I was like, you know what? Let me take some NyQuil. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. It's <laughs> not a good idea. It's not a good idea. I took it at 10.30 at night. <laughs> and I have like 10 today. 10 or 11 on my schedule. So that was a big no-no. So I woke up a little grouchy. Uh, I kind of sipped at my husband a few times. Sorry, honey. Still love you. Uh, yeah. But so I was like, okay, I'm really tired. I don't feel good. Oh, I feel blue. Because, you know, Shark Week, last week, thank the Lord Jesus, because in two weeks, I get my right ovary out, and I'm going to get my other one burned, so I'm excited. I'm excited. No more cysts. Anyway, I'm a little jacked up on coffee and uh, the Dubby energy drink. Um, I started doing sponsorship with them, because I stream sometimes on Twitch. <coughs> and let me tell you, I got the little cuppy. Look at that. It's so stinking cute. I got the peach in here. Um, mm, it tastes really good. Most of the time, I don't like peach drinks because most of the time, peach drinks kind of remind me. You know how sometimes when you can smell something, you think that's how it tastes? Okay, this is going to sound real gross. Sometimes peach flavors to me kind of remind me of cat urine. I know. I said it was going to be gross, but that's what it reminds me of. That peach is actually really, really good. Um, and the W um, energy drinks have vitamins and stuff in it. And I am not an energy drink person because most of them taste like dookie, straight dookie. And they have all different ones. And they have ones without caffeine in it, which is really, really nice, which I like. And they have some sugar-free ones too. Um, but they have vitamins in there, and it gives you the energy that you need without the crash, which is good because mama don't need to crash today. I'm a busy bee. Anyway, I got Flopsy here. She's a little upset. They had to go fishing for a turd to do a fecal, and she did not want to let him in. It's because she was trying to, she was trying to give them an egg. As soon as they finished, she, bloop, she pooped out an egg for them. Uh, and then she had to get a rabies shot. But uh, she is a beautiful cat. She is so sweet. We are going to do kind of a lion clip. Um, they don't do too much of a mane. They do like big booties. Um, now, last time when I did her tail, I did a full tail. But on here, it says today, leave tail pom-pom at the end. Um, so that's what we're going to do this time. We're going to do a different tail this time. And they do not want me to um, cut the nails. I never, ever cut the nails on this cat. Now, generally, when you're doing a cat, I recommend you cutting the nails because if they get their nails into you, it's game over because then they can bite you and they can continue to bite you and scratch you. And then you're just, it's, it's really, really bad. Um, you can get cat scratch fever. You can get really bad infections. Your arm, everywhere else, in certain areas can blow up. You can get a fever. You can get nauseated where you can actually throw up and get diarrhea. It can be really bad, and especially if they have any diseases, it can go into your bloodstream and it can become very fatal. So if you're a cat groomer, make sure, one, you have your tetanus shot, and two, make sure you know the cat. Make sure you've done the cat before um, just to kind of see their temperament. If you're not sure about it, then, you know, make sure you have a muzzle on there and just try to get help holding the cat because cats can be quick. Cats are quick. Um, but she's a really, really sweet cat. But enough of me chit-chatting. Enough of me ramming my motor mouth. As y'all can see, I told you, I'm ramped up on, on, uh, coffee. I had a cup of coffee, which I probably shouldn't have had because I'm having this energy drink. So I'm kind of like, woo! I did a video earlier, uh, for a D-shed. Uh, it's a little snippet, uh, for the grooming page. On my Facebook. So if you're not following it, make sure to go follow that. And uh, <coughs> and I am hyped. I got music going in the background, and I am hyped. But she is beautiful. Look at her. I know, Bubby. I know. I know, Flopsy. 
But isn't she beautiful? Oh, I know. I know, baby girl. I know. Are you pooping some more? Oh, she's. Oh, she laid another egg. Isn't that sweet? Are you laying some more? Oh, you just laying it all out. That's okay. Ma'am. Hold on. I got to get your dookie. Here, go over here. I got to get your eggs. Look at them. Look at them eggs. She done. Anybody want some Tootsie Rolls? Now, I got to wrap this up because I didn't put a trash bag in that thing over there. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to hold this uh, somewhere over there. Mmm, yummy. Oh, God, it stinks. Oh. That stinks, stink. Oof. Okay, I'm going to have to put this on the other side of the door, on the wall. I can't smell it. That stinks. That stinks. Now, since so she is a little upset, I know, Bubba. I am going to put this towel over her head to kind of give her a little comfort. I know. Now, cats, cats are like, uh, they can be spicy. They're very, they can be very unpredictable. So you got to be very attentive to their signs of their body and to the sounds that they're making. They are on a timer. So get the stuff that you need to get done first. Leave the potty patch. I would always say leave the potty patch um, in between the legs. Do that last because you're, you want to try and get most of the cat done prior beforehand. Uh, now I am using a number 10 on the wall, Bavara. This is, I absolutely love do, using it on this. Um, I use this clipper on my cats all the time. Just make sure that when you are doing the belly, that you are careful of the nipples. Because you can nick them, and if you're not paying attention, you can actually cut them off. Or at least cut some of them off. I mean, I've nicked a, I've nicked a nipple here or two in my day. It's been a minute. Um, I think the last one I nicked was sometime last year. But it wasn't a bad nick. It was just a little nick. Um, the nipple was still intact. It happens. I mean, you have to think most of these cat nipples are they're small. And some of them don't completely stick out. And you got these teeth here, and it can slip through. So, I mean, every groomer always avoids, you know, trying to injure a pet. I miss. Not what we decide to do in the morning. Oh, I'm going to wake up. You know what? I feel like hurting an animal today. No, that's not, what this, that's not how we are. I mean, if that's how you are, then maybe you should find a different profession. But... Um, I don't recommend doing that. Let's see if I can get y'all to go up higher. Sorry, I got the cat race, uh, crab race stuck in my head. I was jamming out to that this morning when I was doing a dog. Let's see if I can get y'all to. Oh man, this is the jizzam. Takes me back to when I was a kid in the 90s. That's Taylor. I'm just adjusting. <laughs> okay, there we go. Another, another dream, but oh, baby. And this seems to be true. Dream, but oh, baby. In the night, I'll dream of a love so true. Man, I remember going to the club at 13, 14 years old, busting a hardcore jam to this. Now, generally, if you have a cat, especially if it's new, you're not going to want to blast music because it's going to stress it out. But I've done this cat thousands of times, so I know she's okay. And I know I'm probably going to get somebody in the comments saying, 
Well, you still shouldn't do it anyway. That might be very true. However, sometimes I think if it's like a normal sound, you know, that I've been having in the salon since I've been here and she's been in the salon, it's actually, you know, okay for her. I'm sorry, y'all have to hear me howling. But I will turn it down just a smidge. It's like the vision of love that seems to be true. Never not a dream of love so true. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah, I decided this morning, you know what? I need a little pump me up music. <clears throat> so I decided to listen to the 90s Pulse <laughs> CD. Now, if y'all was a 90s baby or even, you know, mid 80s baby, y'all know that CD I'm talking about where they had all those Pulse. Now, you can get these great hits now. And then we would always order them uh, from Columbia House. Y'all remember Columbia House? Get 12 CDs for one penny. <laughs> I mean, I got so many damn CDs from Columbia House and I didn't pay at all. <laughs> Columbia House, they were stupid. They are like, we're just going to give out free CDs. <laughs> I'm sure some people pay, but you know a lot of people were like, well, if you're going to give it out for free. Uh, sadly, I was one of them people. But I was a young teenager, so you know. And the night I of the love so much Ooh, ooh. I talk to you in the night in the dream of love so true. Ooh, ooh. You're doing great, Flops. I know, baby. I know, baby girl. Oh, I know why I'm calling you baby girl. You're a boy. Look. Baby boy. Hey, hey. Ow. Now, sometimes you will groom a cat and you're not going to get them always smooth. So don't fret it. You're sometimes going to get lines. I mean, cats typically aren't supposed to be shaved. So, you know, but we get a lot of clients that like their cats shaved because, you know, as they get older, it's harder to groom them and them grooming themselves. So it just makes it easier if they're cut short. Finally! <laughs> wow! Yeah. No. I hope y'all enjoyed me screaming like a little biatch. Yeah, it finally happened to me. Right in front of my face, y'all. I, I did describe it. I screamed. She said, looky here. Looky, looky. Here comes Cookie. Um, if part of me wants to do this... But I think I'm just going to do the cat. I think I'm going to do the cat muzzle. I know, baby. That's a little fun. I can't not my world. Finally. Yes, this is supposed to have a front to it. And yes, I don't have the front to it. Give me all we knew, the way I feel about you. I just can't decide it. I 
Oh, it happened to me. Flopsy said, look, y'all done poked me in the butt. Y'all gave me a shot. Melissa won't stop singing. These dogs won't stop barking. I know, baby. It's okay, sweetheart. I finally. Hi. Ow, ow. Ow. Like I said, cats are on timers. I see that paw that's stretching down there. I know, baby. No, no, no. See that foot down at the bottom, y'all? He's debating on when he's going to use it. La da da di da 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 da. La da da di da 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 da. La da da di da 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 di da. I know it's okay, baby. I know. I gotta shave you down. I know you're stressed out. You're not feeling as grim today. I know, baby. It's okay, baby. You're flopping all over the place. It's okay. Shh. And I watch you and you know that it's not true.
almost 11 years old. Weho, say boom, boom, boom. Let me hear say weho, weho. Let me hear say weho. Say boom, boom, boom. Let me hear say weho. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear say weho. Say boom, boom, boom. Let me hear say weho. Say boom, boom, boom. Let me hear say weho. Boom, boom, boom. Let me say weho. Now who this? Flops is like, you gonna hear me say boom, boom, boom in a second. Let me say, well, well. I know. She, he's growling quite a bit over here. He is not enjoying this room today, y'all. Booty is so round. Let me touch it up and down. I'll be with you. And your tissies on my face. I want you to know I said tissies. Tissies. They were pretty clever when they said that. Weho. 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 I know, baby. This part always makes me so freaking nervous. Because this little spot right here, man, if he moves, I could do some damage. Notice as I'm getting all the main areas that I need to get first before I get to the belly and the leg first. Because his, his, his clock is already ticking. It's ticking. And he's almost got that muzzle off. Now it says don't do anything below the neck, so I'm doing it literally right up to where the neck is. Because I don't think that they want that much of a mane this time. Now the Adam's apple is right there. So I'm making sure not to touch that. Baby, I'm sorry. We're almost done. I know. Oh, you're so stressed. All the dogs barking. Part of the other reason why I put the music on, I kind of hope that it would go over their barking, but 
I had quite a long lunch today. The other reason why I like using these bavars, they don't get hot. I mean, well, they do get warm, but they don't get like, you know, hot, hot to where you gotta like constantly change it like every, you know, few minutes. Just trying to go over some of these areas to make it as neat as possible. I mean, gonna get some lines. And I really don't like lines. I know, baby. I know. <laughs> she can have to close the door, but you can still hear him. <laughs> you still hear him. And I'm like, yeah, you still hear him. <laughs> Well, yeah, Lars is in there, and Lars is a loud boy. I feel your nails digging into my finger. Thank you. That always feels absolutely wonderful. More and more and more. Baby, I have to stretch you out a little. Okay, I'm going to have to scruff you. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this. But you won't stretch your body out, and I have to stretch your body out. Now, I am not hurting him. Um, I am scruffing him just as if his mommy or daddy would be doing it with, you know, their teeth, and I'm just doing it with my hands. I know, baby. More and more and more. Oh! What you need, boo boo? What? What? Camper? Yeah, yeah where's she at? Are you going to be here all day? Yeah, I'm here till five. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, I'll definitely do her. Yeah, but you don't have to do I mean, I was going to give her a bath, so I was like, that's what you need. You won't mind doing her stuff. Yeah, no, I won't mind doing her. Um, she's fairly good. You, you know, she may, if you feel like you need to muzzle her to do her nails, you can. Just Flopsy, it's okay. Flopsy. Then, uh, at home when I try to do them, she'll, like, she'll put her mouth on my fingers, but she never wipes. Oh, I do, I do blue. Okay. So I'm just like, you Blue's actually, you do whatever you need to do. You Blue's actually bit here. me, though, <laughs> and drawn blood. Yeah, so you do whatever you want with her. Like, I don't... I'm going to put yeah, a, I'm going to put, like. put a big old on her. Do you want to put a, do you want to use her as a test subject? I could. For your diet? I could. I mean, I'm not like, you know, an artist to where I can draw like you two over here. I don't want, I don't want money. I don't want money. I want to pay you somehow. You don't need to pay me. How many times I've done Ashley and, and Jamie's dogs? I don't, I don't want money. 
This is a cool baby head right here. Well, yeah, it's missing the top. It's like the one that you. Yeah, I it, we're missing the top. I know Flopsy. Flopsy's going. It's okay, you pissed off. Yeah, he is very pissed off. Who we'll scrubs the back of his neck for me? That's what you can do. I need to come and spectate you guys one day. Well, we do what we can. He's getting full shades, I guess. Yeah. No, ma'am. No, sir. I mean, is that why you're mad? Because I keep calling you a girl? Stop. I know, baby. He's literally at the end of his timer. His timer is done. So instead of giving him an actual bath, I'm going to give him a waterless bath. Um, because I don't want him to stress out any more than what he's already stressing out at. Baby, don't hurt me. All right, stop. This right here is why most groomers do not do cats. Um, they're wiggling. Some of them can be pretty aggressive. Um, they can be. They can do some gnarly damage. They can actually take you out of work for you know a few weeks, even months. Um, no, don't you get your foot on me? Because once you get your foot on me, you're gonna get your nails in me, and then I'm I'm gonna be uh, very vulnerable. I know, baby. Um, but yeah, you need to have training when you're doing cats. You can't just decide, oh, I'm going to groom a cat today. <clears throat> there is a cat groomer um, on YouTube that does nothing but cats. And the muscle is off. <laughs> The muggle is off, y'all. I know, baby. I know. He is so pissed off right now. No, <laughs> it does not feel good to him. Shh. Flopsy, I know you're very upset, baby. I'm just... Flopsy baby. Wow. He is holding on for dear life. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Right, we're gonna have to try and scruff you and see if I can do it that way. Yeah. 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 
No, this does not feel good to Flopsy. Move your tail out of my way. I know, baby. I'm so sorry. I know this is a very awkward position for you. God, please don't piss on me. I know, baby. The reason why I'm not stopping, um, I know the cat is stressed. <clears throat> but if I stop and I don't get it done, it's going to get to the point to where the cat's not going to let me touch him. And at that point, I can't finish the cat. So I need to try and do what I can while I can. Now, if it gets to a point to where he's, you know, he's super duper stressed to the point to where it's going to cause health issues, obviously I'm going to stop. But he's not at that point yet. I know, baby. I mean, it's getting pretty close. Oh, God. Honey, just let me get your in your private area. Most cats do not like this area. This is where you're always going to have a hard time with a cat. You are not a big fan of mine today, Flopsy. All right, baby. Hey, Flopsy. There you know, you're so mad at me, baby. I know. I just got to get to finish doing the inside, okay? Will you let me finish doing that? No? Like, I really need to get the other side.
I know, baby. It's okay. between his eyes really quick before we finish him and then he is going to go in the kennel i'm going to put a little air dryer on him a low dryer on him just to finish drying the rest of his body now i'm using these earth rated um these are specifically for dogs but you can use them on your cats too Yours are not too dirty. The ears are pretty clean. Uh, no. Red night. Oh, yeah. Red night. Oh, yeah. That's it. We're going to put him back up. 
in his kennel. Um, put a little dryer on him. Actually, he should be probably pretty dry. Yeah, he's pretty dry. This stuff dries pretty quick. Brush out his little tail. Okay, I won't brush out your tail. I'm sorry. He said, look, enough is enough. All right, y'all. So this is Flopsy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. And check me out on my TikTok and Facebook. Both mixed Melissa. Bye, y'all.